Hello everybody, and we're about to continue our Let's Play series of Stellar Blade. See where our adventures are going to be taking us next. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated Raven. And now we are in this brand new area. Don't think we have any new perks, other than we have more damage and attack power. I don't think we have any new suits. And nothing for the drone. Okay. Let's see, where to next? Okay, it looks like that way. Or that way. This way. <laughs> okay. There we go. A cool looking spot actually. I can see it. The end of my journey. Yeah, what is that? Ooh, there's Adam. He is looking a little different. Eve. I've been waiting. Like I thought. It was you. Adam. Why is Adam here? Interesting. I know this is a disappointment. I'm sorry, Eve. Everything that has happened until now, and even before, it began with me. I'm wow. the source of it all. Adam. Or would you prefer I call you Elder? What are you scheming? You pretended to rescue me. Pretended to help me on my mission. All under the guise of helping Zion. What are you really after? I want atonement. I want forgiveness. Very want interesting. Heal. Please know that everything I have done, I have done sincerely. Enough of this nonsense! My comrades, the people of Zion who trusted you, tell me why they had to die! Eve, you... You have every right to be mad. I understand. Elden Atiba, you... Please, listen to me, Eve. First, I'm sorry for what happened between you and Raven. In the end, she had her own motives. And that way, she was a lot like Oracle. As you've discovered, you were created by the surviving humans to look and act like them. And us, we're nothing but monsters. Right from the start, we struggled to coexist. Of course we did. Because we natibas were weak. We were not yet mature enough to fully accept your kind. This foolishness resulted in tragedy. In the end, we gave up our humanity in order to survive. <laughs> then you threw us out into space! Earth is too small for both our species to coexist. However, even if all the Natibas disappear, it's impossible for your kind to succeed the human race. After all, you were created entirely from scratch, with no human DNA at all. And what is it you're going to do? You think you're the one to end this gruesome slaughter? 
Yes. I've been researching for decades to find a way. I wonder what that way is, though. A way for us all to become the inheritors of the human race. An Andro Eidos, with the most advanced Unisonous hyperbody ever seen, and the ultimate Nativa that has not succumbed to its hostile instincts. These are the two necessary ingredients. You mean? Yes. You and I. We are what is needed. Eve. I offer you one last deal. Let us become whole. One being. A single, evolved human species. If we fuse together, we can truly become the seeds of a new human race. That, that's insane! There's no point in listening to this, Eve! At this rate, Mother Sphere will do the same thing over and over again. I wouldn't be surprised if she even destroyed the colony, and thereby Earth. I guess that does make sense. As you know, she will not stop. But this is not the path that humans should take. But there's no proof that this fusion is the right path to take. Especially considering everything you've done. You're right, Lily. However, my wish to save the new humans and surviving humans was... is... sincere. As unbelievable as it may be. Lily, take this. But this is... This is the last hypercell needed to rebuild Zion. Zion can be saved no matter what choice Eve makes. It would mean so much if you could do this for me. Eve, your mission is to eliminate me. If you fuse with me, the Elder Natiba, as you know, it will cease to exist. That's a good point. Forever. Is there any better way to complete your mission? Eve. Take my hand. I can save you. We can save each other. We can save everyone. Okay, well, Adam has been helping us this whole time, so he he might not be entirely bad. Let's just try it and see what happens. Our existence is to eliminate the Elder Nateba and save mankind. Nateba or Andro Ados, is one more human than the other? If an entire species is wiped out so that another may remain, can we really call that salvation? But, but... If there is a way to save both species, I want to follow that path to the end. That's all I want. Yes, so do I. We're like mirrors to each other. Your choice may not bring about peace and stability right away, but our union will create the greatest chance for a peaceful future now. 
Yes. Okay, let's see if we can trust him. Wow. Quite the transformation. Yes. Well, it's hard to describe, but Lily, I am the Eve you remember. I was worried that you would become someone I didn't know. Lily. Uh oh. Connection to the colony. Sending protocol. That doesn't sound good. Sensing strong Nativa signals nearby. Oh, some type of auto mode we got going on here. Fight Lily now? Oh boy. Oh god. <laughs> well, let's try that again. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna want. You're looking good there. Okay. That didn't feel good.
Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're definitely gonna want a pump for that one. Because <laughs> this is probably a fight that can kill you almost instantly. Okay, we're looking good there. I think we'll go with... I wonder if explosive shells will be the way to go for that. It actually started off not too bad though. Just wonder how many phases are going to get pretty crazy with this fight. All the way that one. Oh, my goodness. Got that off. Got a retribution out of that. That did not take much health away. <laughs> I'm in talking mode now, I guess. Didn't really mean to press that one, but away we go. See how it goes. Oh, got us on that one. Oh 
sure what that is. Does not look good though. Must be an insta kill. Okay, so we have to probably do something with that shield. Maybe shoot it somehow. Pump, um... Go. Let's try that. Pretty tricky fight. Seems like there's a lot of health, or we're just not doing a lot of damage either way. Oh my god. <laughs> the amount of damage is just so extreme. I guess it's back to back to back tough fights. Unidentified Nativa, Raven, and now Providence is pretty tough. This might be another two episode experience. <laughs> Goodness. Got the blink on that one. We're dead. <laughs> Almost a half hour in here. See if we can start learning some of these moves a little better. And piece together just one good run. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. This is going to be an experience. It's me wondering what the outcome would have been if we wouldn't have taken Adam's hand. Almost got oh we did get out of that. Cool. Oh, didn't get out of that one though. on that. Retribution. We got the point on that. There we go. Well, that didn't feel good. Oh my god. <laughs> Relentless. Okay, we do have the pump here. Jertaki mode.
Oh, awesome. What's happening now? I can't control it, Eve! If only I had Ibris's hacking code. Unauthorized access detected. What's gonna happen to Lily? What does that mean? Lily! That doesn't look good. Mother Sphere. Wow. You've been watching everything from the beginning. Okay, looks like we're using our Natiba power here. Got it, there we go. Save Lily. Mother Sphere seems a bit cruel. Lily! Wow. The cost of lost memories. I wonder what's going to happen next. Night. Oh my god, it's only half of her. Predicting the future is like reaching for the stars themselves. Darkness everywhere, guided only by a distant light. And what that light may be, I wish I could tell you. Perhaps strange new beings will emerge and be hastened deeper into the unknown. That being said, I will always serve the future. Even if the future does not align with what is 
expected. M Mother Sphere? Nice to meet you, Eve. Well done. Interesting. You've more than met my expectations. The final decision was a bit disappointing, yes, but... Wow. Still, I thank you. Enough of this nonsense! This now concludes the Eve Protocol. Oh my goodness. You can't just spit out words and end things like this! Then, farewell. Wait! your plan. Poor Lily. Then I'll gladly play my part. I swear we'll meet again. Oh my goodness, that's just the ending, huh? Oh boy. <laughs> Quite the adventure that has been. Definitely leaves room for a potential sequel, which would be amazing. Whew. What an experience. Probably one of the coolest, stylish games I've played in a long time. It's just everything about it is just cool and just feels good as you play it. Combat was pretty awesome. Fluid. The pairing system. Liked it a lot. All the skills. Definitely pretty fun. Being able to switch between using your, your gun stuff and your blade. A nice little touch there. The world was interesting. I do wish there would have been a little more difference in environments, but I kind of get it. Being like a futuristic dystopia of some kind. So I didn't, I didn't mind the arrangement of everything. The music was amazing as well. Great soundtrack and uh, graphically awesome. Zero complaints there. I definitely feel like I missed some stuff so I'd probably have to replay this to get the full experience. It seems like there's multiple endings. Didn't get all of the energy drinks. Didn't get all the outfits I don't think but overall it's a fun adventure to walk through, to run through, to fight through. <laughs> Everything about it is just really cool. As far as the bosses, I did like how they were all pretty different in a way. They were like weird alien monsters. And every once in a while you'd have like an android experience. So that was pretty fun. My favorite fight? As a spectacle, the last fight was pretty awesome against Providence. Sad about 
the whole part with Lily though, that was unexpected and definitely definitely an emotional one, especially for Eve, I'm sure. Raven was pretty cool as well. He had to play perfect <laughs> to defeat Raven. And also the uh, unidentified Natipa fight was pretty awesome. But overall, I highly recommend it. Super cool, super fun. Can't wait to see what they bring up next with this one. Some type of sequel, hopefully. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and we'll be talking again real soon.